neighborhood. Three sets of human bones were found in Southeast. They were discovered by construction workers behind an apartment on Wayne Place. All three of them female. But that's really all we know. And lots of people have questions. Stephanie Ramirez joins us now live in the studio with the latest on what police are trying to figure out, Stephanie. Well, Deborah, the medical examiner's office is still working to identify these remains. So we still don't know who these victims are, how they got there, especially. But I did learn today a neighbor may have helped police get there. William Bailey lives just next door to the lot on Wayne Place Southeast that's now covered in crime scene tape. He tells us he talked to the construction workers right after they made the discovery in this building's crawl space. Well, they were shocked, but they didn't know what number to call or something like that. Bailey says he told the workers to call 911 after they told him what they had found. The workers came out and said they found a the skull. Police are only using the words skeletal remains. We're told this happened on Wednesday. Then on Saturday, police discovered two more sets of human bones. The D.C. medical examiner says all three sets are female. It's disturbing and at the same time, you know, glad that they found out now. Neighbors have been looking at this scene for some five days now. Bailey says he's been around here for about seven years and tries to keep an eye out for the neighborhood. He thinks whatever happened may have happened a while ago. Police haven't released a time frame yet. At least somebody will find that their relatives or whatever are passed away and they don't have to worry about looking for them anymore, so it'll be some kind of closure to the family. And Deborah, this is still a very active investigation. Police are not just blocking the area of where the remains were found, but also the entire alleyway connected to that scene. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Well, a man in his 80s is recovering after falling down a ravine in Rock Creek Park. That's right now D.C. firefighters pulling him out of the water. They say the man was jogging on a path this afternoon when he fell. A bystander saw what happened and rushed to save him. And we're told that the jogger's injuries are serious, but not life-threatening. We continue to follow developing news out of a Prince William County Middle School. The former principal at Ronald Reagan Middle School has been reassigned, we're hearing. This comes after Alfie Turner was accused of bullying and intimidating former teachers. This is all part of an investigation that started last month. Tonight, Gainesville Superintendent Pete Canlin is outraged at the letter that was sent to the school community about Turner's reassignment. He's calling out the superintendent, saying the letter had a condescending and disrespectful tone towards parents and teachers. He talked to Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox from Atlanta tonight. Um, on, the, on the tone that somehow it was the parents and the teacher's fault for getting us into this situation. Mm -hmm. I thought that was completely mm -hmm. unacceptable, and that's why I stood up, mm -hmm. uh, have pushed back on the school administration, and requested the superintendent to come out to Reagan Middle School in May uh, and, and address the parents and the teachers and explain to them uh, the, the position of the school system. Turner's name is no longer in that staff directory, but her new job we're hearing will be in the Human Resources Department. The school website lists acting principal as Roger Dalek. This is a story Peggy's been following since the beginning. To see how it all started, check out our stories on WUSA9.com, or you can always download our app. All right, turning to weather. This weekend, it was nice, it was chilly, it was a lot of things. So you might be wondering, what's it going to be like in the morning when you head out to work or school? Howard Bernstein's the man who knows. It's going to be cold, Deborah, in a lot of areas. And, uh, you know, if the winds are light, that's a better chance for frost. But uh, regardless, 30s and 40s to start the day, it'll finish much milder. In fact, let's take a look at uh, what we're talking about for your Monday, where temperatures start in town in the 40s. That could be 10 degrees colder, maybe more in some of the suburbs, but you'll notice how nice it is in the afternoon. Still breezy, though. See those 2 o'clock winds west and northwest at 17? We're still going to have some gusts over 20, but instead of being in the 50s like it was today, we'll be making a run toward that 70-degree mark. But tonight, the problem we have is with the frost potential. It is the growing season. You know, a lot of things are blooming. I believe the Apple Blossom Festival in Winchester, for example, is coming up uh, next weekend. And we've got freeze warnings south of Winchester, Front Royal, all this purple area through Culpeper and Fauquier County. The frost advisory for Loudoun and Leesburg now extends into Frederick and Upper Montgomery. So that has been added this evening. So, yeah, we may get a little bit of that. With lows in the 30s, it's still not too late if you care about any sensitive plants to get out there, cover them up, and uh, just to protect them just in case. Now, Futurecast shows the cold start tomorrow morning. By uh, 6 a.m., we're talking about temps mid-30s to low-40s in most spots. 